Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you're new, welcome to the family guys. So, still in my PJs because it's my relaxed day. So, let's dig in and see what's going on guys. So, grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your drink. We're spilling it straight. No chaser, no makeup, no sugar coating bullshit guys. So, put yourself where you belong, okay? Let's call in these beautiful ancestors of our spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you in and I ask for a clear, precise channel message from my beautiful collective that's watching me today remember my readings are timeless general and collective and may or may not resonate from start to finish so always use your discernment and put yourself where you belong the roles can be reversed we hold both masculine and feminine energies so only take what resonates to you and helps you on your journey okay guys tarot is for entertainment so <laughs> don't shoot the messenger right guys and anything other than the highest white light i'm closing that door now Please and thank you. Bottom of the deck is the three of wands, guys. So whatever you're waiting for, whatever you've been sacrificing for, whatever you've been investing in, it's coming in. Okay, you may not see this. You may wonder when it's going to happen, but it's at the bottom of the deck, so we don't know. Okay, it's coming, though. And it's the five of wands with the seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants you to drag, like, there's some kind of beef going on. Somebody wants you to feel like you're in some kind of struggle or fighting with somebody it's the seven of pentacles because of some kind of investment um somebody definitely sees you as nostalgic okay with that six of cups somebody from your past is thinking about you wants to come in we're gonna see okay guys that's at the bottom of the deck spirit guide show me what's going on here what are we tapping into Woo. <laughs> we have the magician yeah um, my downloads are always on point somebody is trying to manifest you in or trying to use alchemy to bring you in okay now this could also be us trying to transmute that dark energy into something beautiful you know having to sit in the mud for a little while waiting for our investments because we're not sellouts <laughs> the magician the queen of swords the magician and the queen of swords you're putting up boundaries you're setting high goals for yourself and others around you and you're listening to your intuition you allow people to come in be honest with themselves and authentic and then you know you give them enough rope to hang themselves and as soon as you know god creator the sun is something is enlightened then you walk away because you know your self-worth okay something is being enlightened to you if you're this libra gemini aquarius maybe somebody else is a libra gemini aquarius male or female it's irrelevant but somebody is trying to really um bring you in something is being enlightened illuminated a lot of joy a lot of love a lot of perspective oh it's the king of cups Ooh, somebody has a lot of love for you they might be a little bit of a hard ass though, I'm not going to lie, they sit on a concrete throne, but there's a lot of emotions around this person and they are being enlightened about this Ace of Pentacles, this brand new opportunity. Like I said, okay, so say you've been holding out for uh, a job or um, resources or something, okay, you're going to get it, that Ace of Pentacles is resources. Something is is um, cooking up in the ethers, okay? So keep pushing, even if you feel like um, nothing is working out, okay? You have to speak your truth. Somebody is coming in to speak their truth about some kind of foolish choice that they made in the past about some kind of investment, okay? They do. They have a lot of nostalgic energies with you, but they feel like you're the queen of swords. So you may just cut them off, okay? And... God created with that son is saying that there's a lot of happiness here, a lot of fortune, a lot of um, goals that could happen. But sometimes we do. We make the wrong choices. We pick the wrong people. We pick the wrong job. We pick, you know. So there is a new opportunity coming in here with this page of pentacles for my beautiful collective or the external remember this could be your energy this could be somebody around you this could be somebody playing in your energy that you know nothing about but that six of cups comes back out somebody does have a lot of nostalgic energy with you and a lot of memories a lot of it's right near that it's right underneath that um sun with that king of cups like they're thinking about life and, and goals and dreams and the star and healing <laughs> Okay, 
so in order to bring in this pentacle, this new opportunity, we have to learn to heal ourselves, right? And then we have to forgive ourselves for not knowing better and forgive those around us. The strength in reverse. Somebody feels like they don't have enough strength to come in and tell the truth about this foolish choice that they made on this Queen of Swords. There could have been some kind of magic going on, manipulation even. Take it as it resonates, but somebody needs to tell the truth about the situation. Six of Wands in order to get this victory. It's the Three of Wands. So somebody is waiting for victory, waiting for this cup to come in, waiting for this celebration, this harmony. There's a lot of people looking up to you guys, so you're going to have to lead by example. It's not by what we say, it's by what we do. This is why the star is there, okay guys? We have to be bare ass naked to the world in order for us to bring in this uh, abundance because we won't bring in abundance if we're not ourselves, okay? So we really have to understand that and wait for what is ours. Don't sell out eight of cups. And sometimes we have to walk away from the things that aren't good for us. The seven cup, uh, the eight cups talks about investment, time, money, resources, okay? The, the, a lot of years. But you had to walk away because something was making you feel overwhelmed like the strength in reverse like you're weak like you couldn't conquer your own inner demons because of the environment that you're in i always tell my friends and my clients we can't heal where we were broken so we have to eliminate ourselves and it does it hurts we feel alienated but i promise you if you wait it out and you go straight and solid it will come in now you have the king of wands here with the empress Okay, so you might be pregnant, you might be birthing something new, you might be getting pregnant, so be careful, okay guys, because there is a lot of love on my board, but there's this king of wands that you might have had to walk away from, okay, because it's, or this king of wands has to walk away from something. The heart, there's no passion, no drive in this leader right now, this person who would be a leader, okay, because in this karma deck, it, the king of wands is a leader. But he doesn't have any heart. It's closed off right now because of somebody moving away or walking away because of the fact that they didn't have any strength to speak up and speak their truth and did a lot of stuff in the background. But this Empress, after you stood up as that Queen of Swords, put your crown back on, loved on yourself enough to listen to your guides and know, you know, nothing is forever. <laughs> you were able to really plant those seeds and watch it grow. And now you're smelling the flowers. You might only have just one little flower, you know, you might not have much, but you're able to really enjoy that little thing that you have. You know, it's like making the best, making, mm, the best of what you have. And this is what this Empress does. And this is how they're able to celebrate every day and heal every day and show others how to do this. It's not about the material, guys. That Ace of Pentacles isn't always about material value. It's about value within yourself. Knowing how valuable you are just all by yourself. It's the Knight of Wands. Somebody is coming in very passionately. So whatever you're waiting for, whatever you're holding out, job, friends, family, lover, uh, a new opportunity to travel, take it as it resonates. There's a lot of healing here that is going on. Heart of the deck, it's the Three of Swords. A lot of healing from heartbreak, from third parties, from interferences. And now it's time to birth something new. Have a new creation. Five of Pentacles in reverse. And get out of this lack mentality, this poverty of the mind. Okay? Somebody's coming in. What they want, we're going to find out. But it looks like somebody wants to celebrate with you. Has a lot of nostalgic memories. You may not know this person, but you definitely had to walk away from a king of wands. Okay? Or a king of wands had to walk away from somebody and now is feeling really broken and, and um, not, not, not very strong. But there is a lot of healing here in order to bring some kind of love into your situation, guys. Never mind what's going on with everybody else, okay? You got the sun in the heart of the deck. Yeah, the magician in reverse. Yo, this is why you need to find your business because there's people doing some dark energy work. Magician in reverse. Uh, they're wasting their talents. Trying to go up against somebody because you are empress or emperor. Hey, flip the rules. But the empress is, goes with love, compassion, understanding. It's the eight of Michaels in reverse. You are out of a mental entrapment. 
of this magic that's been thrown at you or this manipulation take it as it resonates the eight of swords you're not in a purgatory you're not trapped you sit very well you look good queen of wands Ooh, it's in reverse but this queen of wands who has done some magic to you is really upset uh, because somebody is coming towards you and they feel It's the king of um, the king of wands and the strength. Like I said, this queen of wands in reverse, this um, Jezebel spirit, this person who does dark energy work, because it's right next to the fucking magician. Like, what the fuck? Is mad because this king of wands in the upright has found the strength now in the upright to get out of this mental entrapment, prison of the mind, purgatory. And this bitch is really fucking up in her head because whatever magic or spell work that they try to send to an empress is being sent back because you chose to walk away from this king of wands at the perfect time. Now, this king of wands is walking away from this Jezebel that has done the energy work in order to get out of the mental entrapment. Somebody is coming towards you. You have motivated somebody to go towards their light. Look, I split the deck again and it's that third party heartbreak. The three of swords. Somebody has really hit that rock bottom feeling had no choice but to evaluate their life. And now they are getting out of a mental entrapment because the seven of pentacles is in reverse. They have really invested in something that was wrong. It's that queen of wands in reverse. Yo, it's... Somebody who is greedy, selfish, vindictive, you know what I mean? They really do leech on a lot of people. And and they lie on a lot of people and they fuck a lot of people and like oh they fuck over a lot of people. Like it's really, really trashy energy and somebody has just invested in that, but then what evaluated their life and now is walking away. Now remember we have already went through this. Past, present, future, five of cups, somebody is very much feeling left out in the cold now. Everything happens for a reason, guys. It's time to release that regret and embrace the opportunity of happiness and search for a silver lining in the situation because you are protected as that empress. See? Look. Oh, my God. I fucking love my ancestors. Look, I say, as the empress, and it fucking comes out. I blow my mind sometimes, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to 1222 on my... Oh, my God. I'm fucking... I'm serious. Yo, the empress. The time... To act upon your plans, creativity, rewarding, and luxurious and abundant resources. Okay, so if you don't see this, it's coming. It's really coming, and somebody feels very left out from you because of what they chose over you. Somebody didn't validate you. Somebody didn't respect you. Somebody didn't give you the your flowers. And like you know what I mean. And now they're in a lot of regret. Four of Cups. Like I said, look, they're in a lot of regret for. Um, being smug towards of six of cups because now they're in that six of cups again so they're really nostalgic about you it's somebody from your past but they rejected you they alienated you and now they're mad because somebody is coming in five of swords five of gabriels both in reverse guys they can't fight anymore and they're feeling defeated whatever external energy whether this is the queen of wands that's trying to you know doppelgame you uh, they can't doppelgame a real empress get the fuck out of here seven of swords whatever the whatever delusions whatever deceit whatever throwing the rock hiding the hand it's all being seen guys and somebody wants to come in and tell the truth about the situation three of wands that's coming in three of wands guys whatever you've been waiting for some kind of information it's coming in some kind of opportunity it's coming in empathy it's time to use empathy okay your ancestors your angels are watching you you says joy through spiritual growth be the light to others answers that come through meditation remember we got all the answers internally and we know how to plant those seeds and watch it grow guys someone rejected you but is now in their feelings about it yeah, it's a lover in reverse, okay? So, yeah, I picked another lover. No big deal. Let them, you know, sit in that. But they did have enough courage to start a new path for themselves. This is awesome. But so do you. That sun is right in the middle there. So you are a fucking sun. You are the light at the end of the tunnel. What's it say here? It says, be the light to others. You are the light to others. You are the empress. And that's why it's the last 
card here and then you got the empress here it's a double empress and then you got the star and the six of wands it's a beautiful beautiful reading but you have that jezebel doppelganger trying to get up in you and the ancestors said you got the fucking protection though it's the only card that comes out you got the protection because you are the healer you are the star you are the magician guys but you have to put up your boundaries you are birthing something new and going clarity and hunting after your own path but and that path is protected guys so don't worry about this somebody is having a epiphany and coming towards you there's a lot of love you got a king of cups and a king of wands on my board with a look it's a companion guys i just finished saying that but somebody feels exiled from you you walked away from this king of wands because they had no strength but clearly they have enough strength to walk away from this jezebel after what after actually paying attention look bottom of the deck this healing and courage somebody finally found the courage to be innovative to use you as a muse and protect themselves and heal themselves this is fucking beautiful. Now they want to be your companion, but listen, somebody is somebody on your level is coming in because somebody clearly left you for dead. I'm not gonna fucking lie, it's here. See, they left you for dead. They wanted you not to see the truth, but you do see the truth, and somebody is coming in to reconcile. Ooh, what the fuck? Anyways, they feel a little exiled. Okay, they want to come in. Let's get some advice from this advice deck. Okay, spirit guides, ancestors, oracles. Let's get some my advice from my beautiful collective. Okay, guys, I love you. Just remember, I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. <laughs> oh, let's see what's going on. Okay, nothing at the bottom of the deck. Okay, at the heart of the deck is the lovers. Wow. Okay, so the lovers came out in reverse there. It's telling me that they clearly chose another lover. Somebody chose another lover. Somebody put you on the sidelines. Like I said, left you for dead. They seen you as this empress and they wondered why all kinds of people disliked you and now they understand why. <laughs> You're a whole nether level. Two of pentacles. They juggled you. Now they want to come in with some kind of deep partnership, some deep kind of love and show you duality and unionship and commitment. Or because you have this lovers coming in, somebody is all up in their head because they're not part of your life. Two pentacles in reverse, man. Somebody is very disorganized, overwhelmed, and overcommitted. And they want to come towards this queen of wands in the fucking upright. A warrior with confidence. Somebody sees you so determined, so sexy, so vibrant, so yourself. And they want to take a new leap of faith, a new journey, go on a new beginning. Somebody thinks you have some kind of beginner's luck or something and really is trying to... <clears throat> Grab their kahunas and go into a new direction. They really want to celebrate with you, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to offer you something. Whatever was taken from you in the past, somebody wants to come in and offer it. Because they don't really have a choice. And this is why somebody is really pissed off. Because this is what somebody has tried to stop. There's a new venture here. There's a lot of prosperity and properties and manifesting and new opportunities here but the queen of cups is in reverse see what i mean i knew intuitively i felt it somebody was emotionally unstable and really pissed off that somebody wants to come and heal something or start a new um, uh adventure with you a new franchise or something i don't know but somebody is really mad and they're emotionally unstable male or female it's irrelevant they Somebody needs a little more fucking self-care and they're upset that you are this empress with like this dependability and security of self. Yo, let's get this overall energy. I'm not going to lie. The fool advice that says the lover in the upright position signifies a decision in relationship, temptation of the heart, or a choice of personal partners and selection will need to be made and it should not be taken lightly. You need to determine what is truly important to you and hold it. Your beliefs, the two of pentacles in reverse advice. It says you're having difficult time keeping anything together. You may be feeling overwhelmed with your schedule and your bills and perhaps more. Turn down the events and plans that aren't aligning with your needs and goals. Only bite off as much as you can chew. And priorities and uh, are important. Don't over invest in things that aren't important and if you're neglecting home from work then maybe it's time to do a switch okay and Queen of Wands advices you're finding yourself to be self-aware and confident and you're discovering your self-purpose 
You know what you want and how to get it. Stay laser focused and keep your friendly, optimistic attitude. It will serve you well. The Fool's advice is the upright position is this card indicates a new journey where you will be filled with optimism, wonder, and courage. You may be weighing your options and risks. The Ace of Pentacles advice in the upright is the cycle is about to begin anew and since the pentacles suits deals in all things material this reset is a pres could present itself in a form of a new career better health or something that is vain whatever it is coming will bring great abundance be sure that you are prepared for the harvest of the gifts of the pentacles once it arrives and the queen of cups in reverse advice is this is a sign that there is a need to be more focused on your spiritual and mental health tend to your deepest needs to ensure that you are well enough to take care of others your emotions are getting the best of you okay guys so let's get the overall energy from the major arcana <sighs> okay i'm gonna clear off this energy okay guys and then we're gonna get back in here okay overall energy is on my floor and I still can't see it. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Woohoo! See? Just hold out. You know, clear off the energies of anything that's trying to keep you dragging down, okay? Of this emotionally unstable person. We have to understand who we are and heal that. Okay? The Wheel of Fortune is there. It's the cycle of life, guys. We go up. We go down. We, you know, it, it's destiny. It's chance. It's faith. It's going with the moment. It's being in the moment. And if you're in the moment, then you never really miss out. The lovers in the upright with the sun in reverse. Now we have a choice, guys. Do we want to stay in depression of illusions and not happy and not dancing through life and not being joyous of about the new opportunities, you know, having those epiphanies and, you know, bringing it in passion? Oh, it's a choice. Lovers is always a choice, guys. You got lovers on the board twice. It's some kind of duality, some kind of union, some kind of sexual con connection or shared values, okay? Kindred spirits. There's a lot of luck on your side, and that's why somebody's asking, like, uh, are you know, they feel like you have this, this, this new, what do you call it? Like this beginner's luck kind of stuff, okay? So let's get that messages from the oracle and see what's going on here yes somebody feels in prison because they're you have walked away from them because they were a swindler they were trying to take you for everything you had and now they feel like they're i don't know because you escaped from their predator lifestyle or their their claws like somebody escaped somebody's claws now they're trying to go to war with you or have been trying to go to war with you. But you, you're going on a new adventure, taking a new leap of faith because you have a military mindset. Yo, you are probably going to get involved with somebody from the military. Take it as it resonates. But somebody is coming in with a romantic offer. Okay, so you have to be careful of those unrequited love situations. But there is definitely some kind of star-crossed lover here. But we have to see it for what it is and love on ourselves first. Something is definitely faded, guys. It's because you're the empress. Look, children. So we have to nurture our children. Nurture ourselves. You like I said, you might be getting pregnant. So if you don't if you're in childbearing ages, don't want to have children, wrap it up. No big deal. The law is getting involved, guys. You might have spirit babies. Because that's what I'm seeing with this, okay? So this offer is coming in only after somebody has really went to war for you they're going on a new adventure away from these swindlers who kept them in a prison of the mind a purgatory this goes for us as well guys heart of the deck wow <laughs> well that one wants yeah somebody's come somebody has an ice disaster it's these swindlers these people who can't take advantage of somebody anymore somebody was a doormat and now stood up for themselves now somebody's having a fucking ice disaster because somebody's going on a new blank slate yo somebody's got a brand new slate and somebody has lost a loved one and they because of this loss of a loved one like maybe because you walked away from them they decided to change their whole fucking life this is how you inspired them because you chose to walk away from them congratulations congratulations you did your job Let's see what the subconscious has to say because that empress may not have much, but everything she has is fucking beautiful. 
and she shows people how to get it right up the mud. Make shit look beautiful. It says, am I focused on what I lost most? What I want most? Okay, so I read it wrong, but maybe somebody is focused on the loss. Okay, what am I focused on what I, what I want most? One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We only concentrate on our power. Uh, concentrate. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. Today's soul action. What are you focused on growing? Today, ask yourself, is your life a reflection of your values or do you need to make adjustments? It's time to prioritize, guys. It's all about prioritize. That's what the subconscious wants to say. And there's another one here. What do I resist feeling right now? When we feel, when we feel it, uh, when we have to feel it, it heals. In order to let go of the pain, we first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. And when you allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Today's soul action. Allow yourself to feel the waves. Let it move through you. No matter how long it lasts, then release it back into the earth and the ocean. Feel it. Heal it. Enjoy it. The sweet freedom lies within you and your soul. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing, guys. So let's get this uh, yin yang oracle deck going on here and see what else clarification for my beautiful collective. Now, somebody got into a contract. Till debt do them part. Till debt do them part. Somebody really is. So getting out of this contract, maybe somebody got married because of some kind of manipulation or magic, and they want to plant the seed and watch it grow like the empress. Ooh, somebody wants to plant that seed in this empress and really watch it grow, be that spring. So I'm telling you, there's some kind of spirit babies here. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment, really knows that you are the genie in the bottle and they gotta rub you the right way in order to make this seed grow i mm, i just read the cards yo that's the wheel of fortune that's the cycle of life Whew. yeah somebody's longing for you in separation and really upset that this is what's coming in for you because they might be stuck in some kind of commitment or constraints if somebody's trying to get a message through to you, okay? So pay attention to your signs, your synchronicities. There's a lot of communication coming forward. Heart of the deck. And it's all because of your self-worth. You raise the bar. Your expectations are high, not just for yourself, but others. And you are assisted by your spirit guides to keep going. Because look, to keep going, you're going towards your north node. You are fucking it. You're on your life purpose, guys, so keep pushing forward, okay? Let's get these messages here from the Love Oracle messages. Ooh, all right then. It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memory you share with those you love. Every time I read this, I fucking almost want to cry. Like, seriously, that's all that it's about is your heart. And it says, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. It's time to be open, to be honest. Somebody really is in a lot of emotions right now. Heart of the deck. It's reflections. Because like I said at the beginning, somebody is reflecting. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that it will all work out for the best. <laughs> somebody just needs to chill the fuck out. And it says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all your heart truly desires at the heart of the deck. See what I mean? <laughs> I love it. So let's get some information for you guys. Um, from, from the plant messages. Okay, let's get some messages from the plant world. So, spirit guides, let's get some messages from my beautiful collective from the plant world. Some healing messages from the plant world. Plantain. 
Now plantain, you can get that anywhere, okay? And plantain, oh, it helps for so many things. If you chew it and put it on a burn, it stops instantaneously. There's so many different, such beautiful things for this. So you might have got burned in a situation and now you're healing from that and walking into something completely different, okay? Plantain. Plantain helps us extract the meaning from our past experiences. This plant spirit helps us awaken memories when the unconscious, from the unconscious, so we can heal them, integrate them, and then let them go. Okay, that's that message of the plant world. Let's get the last closing message from St. Francis Oracle deck to bring this reading together for you guys. For you guys, show me what's going on for this morning reading. And we have number 19, and number 19 reduced down to a 10. So when one door closes, another one opens, guys. But we have to walk through that door. We have to walk away from our karmics, guys. The karmics aren't going to walk away from us. They're leeches. We have to walk away from them. Okay, psychic development, learning, and studying. Your curiosity in psychic and spiritual matters are awakening and you have an urge to learn more. You may be dabbling in occult matters. It's likely that people with similar skills will gather around you, but realize that you are a born teacher and in your intuitive abilities will be more receptive than those around you. Use your skills and trust your psychic instincts as you are open to the energies of those around you. Studying occult matters, reading cards, and taking interest in all forms of divination are important at this time. Finding groups where you have similar interests will keep you from develop will help you to develop quicker. Know that you are a natural psychic, but be sure to use your gifts wisely. Respect the craft and it will be it will guide you well. This is why that Queen of Wands is really upset because you're the in the the Queen of Wands in reverse, because this King of Wands is clearly walking away from them. Because like I said, they were at fucking doppelganger. Doppelganger. <laughs> and now they're upset because they don't respect the craft, so now they're being haunted by their fucking choices. That's their choice, guys. We all have choices. So let's take this which is that what is this knight of swords? Somebody is coming in, like I said, with that truth. Somebody is coming in with the truth about a situation about this witchcraft that somebody has done or this black magic or manipulation or whatever the fuck. And it was all because of jealousy, because of how powerful you stood with that confidence and determination. You were extremely independent. People cheer for you no matter what. You got the Six of Wands. And you don't even want that. <laughs> but it just happens. Always. Spirit, let's see what's going on with this witch. Look, there's a lot of mischief going on in this fucking house. And everything is being seen in that fucking house. With this Jezebel and their fucking whorish acts. Keep your eyelids open and slice and slight sharp as nails for there is something tailing behind your trail whatever they're choosing to do something is watching them and somebody's hearing voices and it's not voices of the above yo Woo! somebody is being haunted by their choices i told you man somebody shouldn't have came up against the fucking empress because that empress is all the queens in the upright <laughs> that's what you should say to them because yo they're really hearing voices with a tug of a jug feel them romance your very breath listen to the gentle flickering within your eyes and when you hear and then you can hear them guide yo somebody really tried to do some dark energy work with a bunch of people kitchen witch bitches or men take it as it resonates guys but now they're feeling haunted by all those mischievous creatures that they called upon to attack you look you you're sitting on somebody's altar guys it is what it is and the elders got you in the spirit world because look the underworld got them <laughs> I don't make it up. Look, the underworld has these people who have done this stupid shit. They're hearing voices because they put you on their fucking altar and they didn't realize that you are the new elder now. So they shouldn't have done that because now the, under the underground kind of protecting you. <laughs> it's Yeah, it's not kind of. It is protecting you. So let's get these messages from... 
the romance message let's get a romance message guys yeah look passion you're going towards passion you have nothing to worry about the elders are protecting you it says birth from seed within the belly of the moon they are the wise felt touches over your heart and felt deep within the marrows of your soul and your spirit look they got you all this mischief and play and horseplay and flying monkeys kind of shit they're all fucking losing their mind for putting you on their altar wow yeah you got a past life relationship coming in whether you know this person or not yo you, you this it is what it is you have known each other before and allow your heart to sing with joy and it is safe to love at the heart of the deck it is safe to love open your heart to give and receive the highest form of energy which is love guys let's see what this um hidden truth is what's the hidden truth what do they want to say about the hidden truth guys first reading so it says i will wait for a sign from you and i know that i crossed the line so somebody knows they crossed the line and this is why they're waiting for a sign from you you need okay and it says the timing just wasn't quite right for us and that's why they crossed the line because they're just childish not ready somebody wasn't ready this is why you got something new coming in and somebody's waiting for a sign from you because they love you okay so allow things to come in focus on what you want most okay and start moving forward and it says so many things remind me of you so somebody is really really distracting themselves because everything and i mean everything reminds them of you we are hawthor yeah you are hawthor yo you have horrors somewhere somewhere trying to get to you so deep mother's milk mother's nurturing birth of a portal guys didn't i say this guys i'm telling you somebody is trying to get to you so that they can birth a new portal you have a spirit baby in the ethers trying to come in make time for self love if you do not love yourself you will never be able to love another which means you will never be able to bring another life into this world and give them the proper so assist the situation, assess it, evaluate it, understand why things are the way they are and do something about it. We have the capability to change our life, but we have to cool those emotions, full moon and Aries, okay? Somebody needs to cool their motherfucking emotions. Let's get some charming for you guys. So we got the, the shell, so somebody may be in their shell right now, okay? Figuring out this love thing, okay? And they want to anchor something with you. They want to ground something with you. They want to keep you stable. Maybe they're, you know, like on the concrete throne, right? They're, but they're in around all this water, okay? And they're anchored in their feelings right now. And they want to be romantic towards you with this, with this friends thing. The, but they know that you're very grounded, very stable, and very connected to source. And this is how you were able to have this transformation. So you're not looking for anything that was from the past. It's a whole different vibration. I want one more, okay? And yeah, it's the owl. Because you're wise now. You use the experiences from the past to be wise. Now somebody needs to be wise about their experiences and what they're going to choose to do. Because this Wheel of Fortune is here. And the lovers is there. So there's a major choice when it comes to love. Soulmate, kindred souls, refreshing a union. Take it as it resonates, guys. But you're getting this epiphany. There's a lot of people in the background really getting fucked up because they put you on their altar. But yo, that's their problem. So let them deal with that fucking issue. Let's get the Tasha T message to close. Spirit guide. Woo! All right. Okay. So it says, how we live is what makes us real. Exactly, guys. This is why I like coming on here with no makeup and showing you, like, we're real. We're real, guys. Okay? And somebody was so fucking fake trying to be you, like, and then they're mad that you're still creating life. Love you to the moon and back. And somebody still loves you to the moon and back because you're real. Says, stay quiet till it's time to speak. The quickest way to double your money is to fold it back over and put it in your pocket, okay, guys? So, 
if you're not seeing some kind of investment happening right now, it's coming. So just keep holding tight, okay? And please, do not sell out. If you want to succeed, focus on changing yourself, not others. Exactly. We have to learn to change ourselves. We are the problem sometimes. This is why we become the beautiful butterfly. And we're wise about things. We get enlightened about the situation. We see what really love is. And then we want to be romanced. You know, we want to be wined and dined before we're fucked. Life is all about learning. We have to make mistakes to learn. Okay? And then it says, making a big life choice is scary, but you know what's scarier? Regret, guys. Stop fucking regretting your life and do what you want. And do it because you want to. Stay in the moment. Be careful what you tell people. Because a lot of people don't want the best for you. Okay, guys? So be patient. Don't sell out. Because there is a lot of evil eyes trying to block you. But they can't block anything. They're just fucking causing trouble for themselves. Playing mind games with themselves by lying. Somebody needs to have a soul retrieval. Because the ancestors are really on someone's fucking neck. For putting you on their altar. Because you're a motherfucking starseed. You're a light worker. You're helping a lot of people. And someone was playing with your kindness. So be careful, okay, guys? I love you. Stay blessed. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. The quickest way to double your money is to fold it back and put it in your pocket. Someone is not telling you the truth about their sexuality and life. Don't have a wine button. So keep moving forward. I love you. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. If you want a more personal reading, I'll put all my information at the bottom. Feeling generous? Put my PayPal there, okay, guys? I love you. Stay blessed. Have a beautiful day, night, whenever you watch this. Bye, guys.